Hello, 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 hello there. <clears throat> Hope you guys are all doing well. We're gonna do a little bit of everything today, get things kind of set up for the week, and it's Monday, so hey, I'm not too, too far behind. So why don't we first, why don't we look at my rings? Let's do that. Let me move this stuff out of the way. And um, I'm still in my Giglio. This is a medium Campania in anthracite. I have 30 millimeter rings in there because I can't help myself. And that makes me happy right there. I love it. Um, I can close it. I can snap it closed. It is tight, but I can do it if I want to. This is primarily on my desk or on my table or on my coffee table. Um, I'm gonna scoot this a little closer. There we go. So I don't have to quite reach quite so far. Um, but yeah, I'm still loving this. So I did a flip last week. I haven't really, I may have changed a few things since I did the flip. I can't remember if this was in there, but I did print this out in personal size from uh, Watch Becca Plan. This is from Marge Plans. I'm not gonna do a whole flip of this, but I am caught up. I did already cross this off this morning, so I, I checked these off. These are freebies from Plan With Me. And then I go to my calendar and I do the same thing. And um, I need to, excuse me, I need to add some washi. Let me see what I have sitting right over here. I have a couple washi sitting around. Just hanging, just chilling. Let's do this one just a little bit. Is that gonna be too thick? Let me see. No. This is from London Gifties and it's really pretty with the birds and then it's just got that little bit of um, foiling. That's pretty. Just adds a little something when you flip through the pages. Um, yeah, this is a busy month. So anyways, I just go through and I cross off the days so we're caught up for that. Um, and then my dailies, this is where I'm at for today. Uh, I'm still using these. I've got these printed out from Sierra Noel Designs. I do have a couple other dailies that I got that I'll probably print out for May, um, possibly. This is my pencil board. I've had a lot of questions about this. This is from Southern Bell Plans. So if you're interested in that, you can message her on Instagram. She gets back to people really quickly or um, email her through the website, but it's just Southern Bell Plans, either .com or on Instagram. I love that this has the like options for weather and then I, I've just been writing it up there. Uh, obviously not Saturday. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> yesterday was not a lot. So this is where we're at for today. I'm going to try a thing where I like declutter one drawer or one shelf a day if I can, uh, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, these are those fold-out calendars. I don't have anything there I need to update. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to print another one of these weeks out or if I want to try to print out a couple of the ones that I have from, I have a couple options. So yeah, I will probably, actually we can do that right now. I'm just gonna take these weeklies out. I like them because they're fold-out ones. I like the idea of fold-out ones. They are kind of difficult to use sometimes, depending on your planner, what you have where, and then you've got to fold it out, fold it back on itself so that you can write somewhere flat and yeah. So I don't know, these are just notes. Oh, I learned a word in Polish today from one of my students. We were talking about some of the actions and one of them was jump. And she said skakacz was jump in Polish, so hey learning from my students. These are the memory pages that I started. I went back and wrote a few memories from January. I do need to print out a couple little pictures, a couple from February and then March. So I'm just gonna print out a few little pictures on my Canon Ivy to put on there and then I can keep these when I archive these pages. These are all my pages from learning um, Romanian with one of my other students. This is a freebie from Watch Becca Plan 2. I love this. I messaged her and I'm like, do you know this song? And she's like, yeah, it's one of my favorite songs from the Pixies. And I already had this tab made. And like, it's like my theme song. My husband was laughing. He was like, wow, that is you. It's a song kind of about being a little bit crazy. Um, I have these pages in here. I've thought about random journaling. I don't know. I screenshot that from Google, printed it. 
um, all my health stuff. This is my daily health log. So I've already updated that yesterday and then I'll, I'll fill in. Usually they're midway through the day. I kind of see how I'm feeling. I should put numb hand actually. Today is the 11th. My right hand was numb the whole morning that I was working, which means something's something's crumped up in there. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking these weeklies, I might print out some more of these and put them in. So these are from my Moxie Dreams and they're free. These are from her too. And then I have to fill out my weekly reflection, which is going to be here, I think. And then print out another one of those. So yeah, so that's that. It's pretty much caught up, but I just thought I would show a little bit there. So let me slide that out of the way. Uh, this week for our, oh, I did, so I did a little video of switching these covers, but let me just open this up to show you. These covers are so gorgeous. They're patchwork covers that have a bunch of the different, um, I guess I could go out a little bit, huh? Kind of close. Uh, different fabrics. I do have a clear cover on there. Yeah, I'm loving it. This is my this is my journal. And then this is just a weekly, it's mainly tracking. Um, I need to catch up for March. We have a few days here to cross off. I got this done. So that we're all caught up. There we go. Okay, and then so the weekly, this is how last week turned out. I did this kind of randomly and kind of quick last week, but I really actually love how it turned out. These are all stickers and washi from the Primrose Corner, so I really like that. So this week, um, what I want to use, I think, is this is the tracker kit. This is 2A, this is 2B. So there's two different kits from Southern Bell Plans. These are uh, fairly new. So I thought I could use some of these little date, um, they're not date dots, they're day, day covers, and just put them kind of like that over the top and use some of just various things I'm going to put in here to to uh, decorate it a little bit. These are new to the shop um, within the last month. And I really liked them. She is accepting applications for her new PR team. So if you're interested, you can go to her um, Instagram, Southern Bell Plans, and you can apply there. Uh, I did reapply. I'm not sure. This is my third time uh, basically being on her team. And I love working with her and um, love her products. So, cute. Okay. So, we have, I think I have this. I could use this kind of here. It has like a little, like a little sticky note. And then... We'll just, we're just going to make this be what, whatever we want it to be this week. So I'm just going to do four bullet points. And then I can write down four specific things, maybe like high priorities for the week. And then we have these little washi strips, which I think would be really cute to put here and here. Let's take a look. Did I mess that up? I did. There we go. Okay. That's that. 
Do I want to add anything else? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, this is from Busy Bee Planners. This is just a gratitude script. And I think I'm going to put that here. And then what I'll do is just, instead of an everyday thing, I'll just try to do four things for the week. That feels um, attainable for me today. And then instead of to, excuse me, we'll do dinners here. And then maybe here I'll do... This little cleaning, isn't she cute? Juniper. This is her little character at Busy Bee. Maybe I'll put her kind of right here. And then just we'll track a few things that we're going to try to clean this week. Good, good, good. Okay, I need a highlighter. <clears throat> Pardon me. <clears throat> try to do that when I'm away from the camera. So let's find a neutral Tombow. I need to get one of those really pale pinks. All the pinks I have are not, they're all really bright. And I feel like this, let's see. 772 is this one, I think. Yeah. That might actually work. 942. You think I would, you know, do like an actual whole page and just swatch it all. Look at, look at that. Merp. Yeah, I just need to get a new one of that. 850. Except that I have the back side of it. The little part still works. So I think I'm going to actually do the pink. So I just, this is what I've been doing all year with this. I just highlight across and basically make my own tracker out of it. Then I can put whatever categories I want on the highlighted line and then I'll check off the days that I accomplished those things underneath of it. Some people use this for sleep tracking. <clears throat> Excuse me, some people use it for actual schedules. And this is how I use it. So make sure I'm on camera here. Okay, so meds. I have been so tired when I'm going to sleep. I keep forgetting to put my mouth guard in and I have been doing really good with it. And then I just started flopping and not doing it. So Let's see if I can do better this week. Okay, so I can check off meds and skincare for today. Gloss and water. Okay, everything else needs to be started on. So let's pull out our little stickers and set up. I mean, the basic same things that we do every week. So I need work. With the time changing, now I'm working like 6.30 or 7 to 1, which is nice. Get a little extra sleep. I opened up some earlier slots, so I mean, I might end up. Oh, I specifically said I wasn't gonna put that there and then I put it there. I wanted to put it here. Not paying attention to myself. I'm gonna put this underneath, but then the dinners will be right there. I think that is all the main ones. Yeah, I think 
that smell pretty good. Okay. Well, let's put these away. And then we can do That's cute though. I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out. <sighs> yeah, so I'll make a list right there of the few things that I want to clean. I think I'm happy with that. I might want to put, let's see. Aren't these cute? I have wanted these for a while. These are the weather um, pages from Southern Bell Plans. I think I kind of want to put this one. It's going to be like cloudy and sunny all week. And that's so cute. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I love the girl. I love all the little elements. So pretty. Okay. So I think that's good for that. So this away. It says in this cover just yell spring. I just, I cannot with these covers. I just love them. So then we've got my journal. So B6 paper tests. That's from Planner Monkey Co. It came as a freebie. I think it's called, I think that character is called Macy, but I can't remember. Okay, so this is for this week. I already put in my journaling um, home prompts, and I did put this little bit of washi that was, excuse me, from last week, from the Primrose Corner, just because it, it looked cute with that. And I'm trying to decide what I want to use for this page. I'm kind of at a point where I don't feel like every single page has to be matchy matchy. Like I kind of feel like I could maybe use that for each day and then put a little bit here and there. Maybe I could put this here, some cute deco. Okay, hold on. Let's not freehand this. My hands are shaky today. Oof. Oh, sorry. One of those days. Oh, okay, let's see. There we go. That looks pretty straight, right? I'm trying to look in the camera. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. So that I think ties in. It's cute with a floral and it has that kind of tan look there. And then I don't want to put these down or I'm thinking I have these cute little stars what if I did the blue or green Look at the green that's kind of cute because it kind of ties in the green there let's do that let's do the green these are from happy scrappy this is d004021 and you can get these on her website, everything, I always try to link all my codes below. Most, usually it's Nessie 10, but uh, except for Busy Bee Planners, it's a Beehive 20 for 20% 20 off. But if you put in the notes to seller on Etsy, she doesn't have a website, it's just an Etsy, it's an Etsy shop only. So in the notes to seller before you complete, you just type in um, Nessie or Vanessa. And then you'll also get my freebie. And if you join her Facebook group, she always has like a, a Facebook group freebie of the month. So type in Facebook group. So then you'll get two freebies plus she gives out a monthly freebie. So you're gonna just get a ton of stuff. Okay, that looks cute. I'm happy with that. And I'm thinking, let me check. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so this is Monday. I don't know why I can't remember how many days. Because uh, it's undated, these pages. like it, It's dated for the week, but then each page, basically, you don't have to use it as a daily. You could set them up as trackers. I mean, you could just do a ton of stuff. Oh, yeah, that works for me. I like that. So I'm going to use these. This is my favorite typewriter font. I can't. I cannot. I love it so much. This is going to be a pretty busy week. 
we have a couple of events we're doing. Basically, my Friday, Saturday, and Sunday are all booked with um, events. So I thought, well, let's get this all set up. I am still a few days behind in journaling for last week. But I'm telling you, that is the beauty of having journaling prompts. When you want to journal, but sometimes you can't, you don't have the time or the energy to do it every single day. If you have the prompts in there, then you can just go back and fill them in as you have the time. And the nice thing about buying a journaling prompt kit is that, you know, once you buy it and download it, you can have it printed as much as you want. Even if it's not the correct dates, like that's fine. You could still use the prompts. You could use the same prompts every week or over and over again. So, okay, so that's that. And then this one's decorated, very cute. This one, so I'm thinking, I have this cute slumber um, party kit. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love it so much. So I'm thinking I want to use some of this for this week. I think it matches those dates really well. So let's put down a little bit of washi down here. I love that it comes with washi strips. Put that down at the bottom and then let's put me of my daughter-in-law. So cute. Okay. And over here, let's do some of the popcorn washing. And we'll do a little diagonal. Let me put some pillows. And then maybe she's got a teddy bear there. <clears throat> well, I mean, I guess that could just be enough, right? I don't have to add a million things. I'll tell myself to stop while I'm ahead, right? Let's put more popcorn washi. <clears throat> I'm filming bed just stuff away. Okay, and then. We're gonna put this big giant popcorn machine because that is too cute. Oh yeah, I really like that. And then maybe we could put one of the buckets of popcorn next to it. Oh, that's cute. I like it. This is the slumber, um, slumber party kit. Okay, what do I want to put over here? I was thinking there was like the TV ones. Popcorn and a remote. Where's my other one? It had a TV on it. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so let's put some washi. Put that there, and then let's put this TV. And then Over here, should we put it one of the girls? Like with the couch? Let's put this girl. So pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Look how cute that is. 
I love that. Okay, I think for Sunday I want to put this whole giant like bedroom set thing. Oh, I dropped all my sheets on the floor. Okay, because this is going to take up quite a bit of real estate, so we'll just put this in the middle. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And we're going to put these little slippers down here because... That's where my slippers go. And what do I want to put over here? Where don't we put, I love that teddy bear. I think I'll save these for my week's planner. I dropped a sheet over here. Let's see what's over here. Okay. We have a chair, we have ice cream, we have candy. Teddy bear. We have snacks. Snacky. Snack, snack, snackaroo. Ooh, I don't know what I want to put. Okay, let's put a strip of washi. Let's put this one. Let's put it here. And then I was kind of thinking, what if I did like some of the snacks kind of going up the side? Like popcorn and the remote, kind of like so. And then I could put the pizza in the middle. And then I could put the tray with all the goodies like that. And then we have room for one more. Should I put the chips? Yeah, let's put the chips. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I like it. That's really cute. Okay, do I need to add anything else? I think that's good. That's, that's really cute. Then I'll just, I'll journal here and here. Ugh, I love it. Okay, I feel like this page could use a little something. Right? Should I put, what if I put the chair? Is that dumb if I put that here? I mean, it's my journal. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I just saw today, so if you follow Philo Planner, she, she has an amazing account on um, Instagram and her handwriting is just beautiful and she uses these fountain pens to write and it's just stunning. It's so pretty. Anyway, somebody went on her page on one of her posts and was like, oh, you're using, you're using your fountain pen wrong and just like all this whole list of things that they said she was doing wrong and I was just like, are you kidding me? Really? Like, her, her, it's so beautiful, like, so aesthetically pleasing. I'm like, how could somebody be, and, like, unsolicited advice sometimes, you're just like, really? Like, do you have that much time to just go around looking for people to complain about? Or could you, could you have privately messaged her that and asked if she knew this information or something? But, like, to put it on a comment of someone's post is kind of like saying, like, you don't even know what you're doing. You know what I mean? Like, why, why, why would somebody do that? Okay, let's flip through this. I think this is really cute. Oh, I forgot I got these. This is a new, um, she sent me this little die cut. This is a new little character. I love that face. Isn't that hilarious? It's like sneaky. Um, these are the doodles. That one's for going to the doctor and this one's for work. So I thought we could just use this little guy um, for that. Because why not? If I wanna mark work in three different places, I certainly will and I certainly shall. And I don't need anyone to tell me advice about not doing it. <laughs> I can put whatever I want, okay? This is my journal. Um, oh, there was one other thing I wanted to, oh, I wanna put this down. So I have an assembly day on Sunday. Put that like that. Okay. 
That's pretty good. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put, find a place to put that. Actually, maybe I'll put that one over here. Cause I have a little, I have something I'm going to on Friday. That's a meeting. It's just like super, it's a really fun, happy thing. So I will put that there. And then do I need the date dots? These are from Happy Scrappy. That is covered, so that looks good. I think this looks really pretty. I'm very happy with how this turned out. I think it's really cute and fun. So there's that. I don't know, let me look at the week here. If I need the numbers, uh, I think that's fine because you can still see them under there. So I will save these and use these for another week. They're uh, holographic glitter foil day dots and they're clear. So when you put it on somewhere, you can really see the uh, color through it and it's, they're just absolutely to die for. I love her day dots. So, all right, well, 30 minutes, not too bad for three planners and trying to figure out everything that I have going on. So if you stuck with me this long, thanks so much. Um, I always do my best to answer questions and I always try to, to comment. I will be rather busy towards the latter part of this week. So if I don't get right back to you, please be patient. Um, I will try my very best and I hope you guys all have a great week ahead. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next one or over on Instagram.